Welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot Pisces. Thank you so much for the support on the channel. This is going to be your reading for January 5th to January 11th, 2021. And welcome. Happy New Year. So remember the tarot cards will go over here, which will be the energies around you, and the oracle cards will go right there. So the oracle cards will all be for you, and the tarot cards will be the energies around you. So I read the cards and you decide if they apply to you and your situation. You can feel free to vice versa the masculine feminine energies, the king and queens on the cards. So it fits, if it fits to you. So the first one for you Pisces is GPS 15. So this tells me that you're where you're supposed to be. And I know that's hard for a lot of people to feel that right now, but this is saying that you are where you're supposed to be, but you're getting ready to change. So five is change, and six is when you have went through a change and you're moving forward from that change. So I do feel like the change is obviously getting ready to take place if it hasn't already for you. So the next one is 27 Magnanimous Me. So this is saying that something has come full circle and it was difficult, but when it ends coming full circle, you're going to feel strong, you're going to feel balanced, you're going to be surprised that you did what you did. So you have six and nine so far if you break the cards down, which I do. I like it how the triangle light is going into the circle light right there. So the next one for you is right side up, number one. So this says you're going to land right side up, whatever's coming for you, you're where you're supposed to be, you're going to end up beautiful where you're supposed to, and you're going to land right side up. So those are good. It seems impossible, I'm sure, right now, but this is what the cards say. So I do see a lot of colors in there. The blue usually has to do with... Uh, your throat chakra, communication. So I see purple in the first one that you're healing and a lot of light in the second one. So now I'm switching to the Mystical Cats tarot deck for you. So the first one is the Hermit card. So Hermit is the, this could be Virgo placement and Virgo and Pisces are 180 degrees opposite of each other. So this says that you could be withdrawing from other people to be by yourself. The hermit usually means, to me the hermit also means you get clarity. You, th you, get, you need an answer to something and it comes to you very fast. So the next one is Eight of Fire. So Eight of Fire is somebody blaming something. So I don't know if you're blaming somebody. I feel like somebody is blaming you. Maybe it's a Virgo. Gemini. So we have the Lovers. So, somebody is blaming a lover for something, I feel. I see a lot of passion here, a lot of passion there. So, three of earth tells me it could be a coworker, or this could be three people blaming one other person for something. Three people are blaming this person, and this person looks beautiful. This is a pretty bug down here. It's very adorned with color, and so that's what that could mean. And most every card has two meanings, so I try to say both meanings. So this is Eight of Earth. So Eight of Earth to me is, I always say, birds of a feather flock together. So this is people who think alike, they act alike, they have a common denominator, which could be causing problems for somebody because they're blaming somebody it looks like. So I feel like they are trying to get other people with them to say, hey, come with me. Um, misery loves company. People who live the same lifestyle seem to congregate with people who live the same lifestyle. So this could be um, codependency, addictions, some sort of things that bonds these people together. So then I see five of C. So somebody's had their pride and ego hurt. Sea kitten. Sea kitten is somebody who is younger than you usually. Somebody could be... They're very balanced, their emotions are in check, they seem really grounded, but maybe they seem childlike sometimes. So seven of C is denial, something being right in front of your face that you're not seeing. Next one is the emperor. So the emperor is on a pedestal. The emperor is usually a boss a, or a lead at work, a CEO, a business owner. Um, Pride and ego is here. I feel like this could represent this as well. This is usually Aries placement. 
So then you have the cat, which is my precursor to taking a leap of faith, doing something you've never done before. So six of sky is you removing yourself from people who aren't for your highest good. And you can tell because they're doing stuff you wouldn't do, which made me think of that other eight of earth card. So this is the Empress. So look at this. We have a pair right here. Wow, wow, wow. So the Empress has her back turned to the Emperor, though, I've noticed. So the Empress is new beginnings, could be pregnancy. She's nurturing, she's loving, and she has intuition. She listens to it. So we go back to the Virgo that was about intuition. So I do feel like there is an Empress that has her back turned to the Emperor. So I don't know if he had something to do with these people or the blame. So the next one is Nine of C. Nine of C is you manifesting your future. You see good things coming to you. You see abundance. You see your emotions in check. You see staying ahead of your enemies, frenemies, however that works for you. And then Ten of C is travel moving, going to a new place, or going around people that make you happy, or family members that make you happy. So I'm going to switch to the Tarot Illuminati. I feel, I do see, I guess I could pull these. So this was my addiction card, which I did see that before, so I do feel like there are some addiction issues in this reading. The, the universe tries to support that and keep you where you're supposed to be. This is a tower. So I feel like something is going to fall because of an addiction. So that could be why the Empress and the Emperor are not connected in this reading. Because when something falls apart, it can rebuild for the higher good or it can end and a new door can open it. So I do feel like there's this is consequences. There's consequences after the tower for some reason. So now let me switch to the Tarot Illuminati. So it seems like a lot of people may be involved in somebody else's relationship, is what I'm seeing. So I do shuffle all these cards before I turn the camera on, but I always give them one more shuffle after I turn the camera on to follow where they want to. So the first one is King of Cups. So King of Cups is offering love, but this King of Cups is plotting and planning. You see how his hands are. He's not even offering the cup. He's usually a King of Love, but in this deck to me, he is a manipulative King. He is codependent, has addictions, he's planning and plotting for his highest good. So Nine of Swords is somebody being very stressed out. Somebody can't sleep. I feel like they're worrying about something. I feel like it is this King of Cups. Is something going to go right? Did, is the consequences he wanted to happen going to fall into place? So I feel like next is a Princess of Swords. A Princess of Swords is on guard. She has her sword up. I feel like she's getting messages either intuitively or from other people about something that's going on here. I do feel like people are trying to tell her. So I feel like she's going to be very hesitant on communicating with other people. So then I see Five of Swords. So this is somebody who is manipulating, they've lied, they've cheated, they've caused a lot of problems and not good energy. So that would explain why she has her sword up. So ten, Six of Pentacles is moving forward. So somebody is moving forward in a new direction and they're going towards abundance after leaving this negative energy. So this is a Leap of Faith card to fall. This has came up twice now. So I feel like you're taking a Leap of Faith, Pisces. So Two of Pentacles says you're juggling. So somebody has been juggling two people, two situations, and they're just having a hard time at it. So the Knight of Wands is my player energy. This is somebody who comes in to get what he wants and then he leaves. So that would explain the Two of Wands because some male figure, feel free to vice versa, that too feminine if that applies to you, is juggling two people 
So the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is the happiest queen in the deck to me. She is loving. She is happy. It takes a lot to knock her off her happy crown. She's protected by the universe with the black cat bast. And she's a queen who gets a lot of things done. She does things for her higher self, for her life. She doesn't wait around waiting for other people to do things for her. So somebody is leaving Ten of Wands and moving away, and I do feel like it's the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is moving away from the situation because she felt she was being juggled or played. So the Emperor came out again. And this Emperor looks very lazy to me. He looks like he just lets people give 80% and he'll give 20%. So I do feel like she moved away because somebody did not put 50-50 into a relationship. Somebody just acted like all they wanted was the intimate part of a relationship and they really didn't even put too much into that is what I'm seeing. So she moved away. She's like, this isn't working for me. And then we have Five of Wands. So I feel like there's a lot of people competing for the Emperor's attention or her attention. I'm not sure, but she won't put up with that kind of energy. She won't be around people like that is what I feel. So I just see a lot of people trying to communicate. I see her being, having choices. I see change. I see the universe getting involved. I'm just trying not to pull all these cards and make it complicated with a whole bunch of energies in there. So I'm going to pull the Soul's Journey lesson cards now, Pisces. So the first one for the Soul's Journey lesson is freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And I do feel like the Queen of Wands is creating her own happiness. If she puts effort into somebody and they don't match her effort or put it back, then she will move away. And I do feel like it's easy for somebody to feel trapped if they've been involved in a third party and they didn't know they were involved in a third party. And if somebody gets you involved in that and doesn't tell you, that would be um, disheartening to say the least. So I feel like she has moved away from that player energy, the people who want to drink a lot, I feel, consume, um, smoke a lot, probably something like that. She's not into that. So gratitude, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So that's why she's so happy because she is grateful for the things that come into her life. She is very loving and has a lot of love to offer, but she's not going to just spill her love onto anybody. If somebody doesn't meet her halfway, she's not going to continue. And that's what I feel like happened here. Somebody didn't meet halfway in the middle. So the next one is service. I feel good when I can help others. So I do feel like she is very helpful, very nurturing, but she has some sort of job where she enjoys helping others. She, it makes her feel good to help people less fortunate. And that could be why she's so happy, because she gives to other people. She's grateful for the things she has, and she just wants honesty and freedom. She does not want manipulation, people who have a lot of codependencies or issues with drugs or alcohol, she's not going to stay in that energy. So the Whispers of the Ocean is Empower Yourself, number 11. Wow, wow, wow. Tune into your personal power. You are more than able to handle the situation facing you. Allow yourself to be strong, beautiful person you are capable of being. And this is the Sailfin Fish. So first of all, his beak can penetrate tough exteriors like No Tomorrow. His sail fin makes him look beautiful, and the power coming up out of the water tells me that somebody has control of their emotions. They feel powerful. When people, obviously, this person has moved to freedom. They're grateful for every lesson they learn in life. Yes, it hurts, but they take the good and they make it better. So here's the next one is Amble with Contentment, number nine. Waiting rather than acting is going to be most advantageous now. And this has to do with your heart chakra. And seahorses mate for life. So I feel like this person, the Queen of Wands, was looking for somebody for long-term commitment. And when the player energy came in and she felt like she was getting juggled, she moved away from that. She doesn't have... A hundred years is not enough time to spend with a player, energy, or people who want to play around with drugs or alcohol. 
So I do feel like the seahorse attaches itself to the coral when there's a strong current. So this is saying because of what's going on right now, there's something strong. Um, it could be the situation of the world to just hold tight. Hold tight right now. I know you feel powerful and beautiful and you want to just rush off to your future. But this is saying otherwise. This is saying you're where you're supposed to be right now. Hold tight. Because when things are supposed to move forward, they will. So now I'm switching to the angels and ancestors for you Pisces. So the first one is Lady. Enjoy growth and reap rewards. So this is the five elements of life. We also see the apples in there, which the pomegranates were in, excuse me, the hermit card. So I do feel like this is moving forward and producing a new life, so to speak. A lot of new opportunities coming to you that are more in tune with the freedom, the gratitude, and the service that you want to move into. So everything is happening for a reason. The next one is Fire Guardian. Ignite your passion. So this says that you have a lot of passion, or I almost feel like somebody's moving towards you with a lot of passion. So with the right passion, the Queen of, Queen of Wands is exuberant, she's sexy, she's beautiful, and it makes her even more happier than she already is. But she's not going to put forth any effort on somebody who just wants passion and doesn't put the intellectual part. So I do feel the upright triangle here has to do with masculine energy. I see the passion in there. I do feel like somebody is just wanting to hold you in their hands. I do feel like somebody is saying, I, can, I have passion for you. I can ground you. I can protect you. I can take care of you, but I will give you the freedom to have to be grateful and to service others without me causing issues. So this is beautiful. Lady is very nurturing, very loving, very earthy. She doesn't need a lot of expensive possessions to be happy. And somebody to love her honestly without bringing in other energies would just be the frosting on the cupcake for her. So I hope this helps so much, Pisces. This was a pretty good reading. A lot of lower energies around you, but it seems like you're moving away from that. So keep doing what you're doing because it's going to come up good for you. Empower yourself is what it says. But you're supposed to be doing what you're doing right now. You had the GPS and the waiting seahorse card. So thank you so much, Pisces, for coming to Echo Catcher Tarot. Bless you, Pisces.